My name is Deborah Bloomfield, and I am at the Mountain Film Festival. Um, actually, I'm here because um, my recent monograph, Wilderness, brought me here. Um, it is a monograph that um, I've just published and finished in January of this year, and it's launched itself and me with it. Initially, it was my going up north and a dear friend of mine saying, um, Terry Tempest Williams, if you're going north, there's a particular woods you should go to. And I said, okay, and I walked into that woods and heard a sound I've never heard before. I couldn't even identify what animal it was, except that it was coming from the top of an old growth um, tree, some cedar trees. And so when I finally saw this black bird take off, I realized it was a raven. And I ended up going back for five years trying to captivate the ravens, the feeling of being there, understanding what wilderness is, the politics of wilderness, who protects wilderness, what is wilderness. At the beginning of this um, project, I'm embarrassed to say, I did not even know that there was such a thing called the Wilderness Act. Um, I dwell in the House of the Arts, where I've been for 40 years, so you can talk to me about Lucy Lepard and Imogen Cunningham and Ansel Adams or anybody in the arts, curators, historians, but this was a whole new terrain. There is no upfront purpose to any project I've ever done. Uh, it's not prescripted. It's basically what's important to me in my life. I end up, and I always tell this to students because I've been teaching for some 30 years now, that what's going on inside of you and what's important to you, if you just honor that, pay attention to that, you'll know what you want to be working with, whether you're a writer, a filmmaker, a musician, photographer. And my last project, I sat by the water still observing the ocean for seven years and contemplating memory and life. And I knew I wanted to get back in the landscape. So with this body of work, when I started moving through it, I was just sort of on alive on fire, didn't really know the terrain, completely new to me and exciting, and I just decided to do what I always do, just keep moving through it, go north, go south, go east, go by water, go by foot, just move through it and sort of harvest um, images and sound. I think for the now what, what I'm seeing is actually very exciting that to start with, I'm here at the Mountain Film Festival, not because of me as a photographer, but because of a body of work that I did that was relevant to the title of the symposium. And as a photographer, I have um, shows that have been scheduled, um, exhibitions at museums, and what I've allowed myself to do is talk to curators and say I'm going to be showing this work but I want to bring in the um, Wildlife Coalition from Arizona to be present at the Phoenix Art Museum or at the Etherton Gallery. I'm going to be having um, this work go into a gallery that represents me in Los Angeles who recently ordered some work and I said, this is wonderful, you're bringing wilderness to LA. Um, so the now is how can I continue to more visibly have people go into an art context and read wall text now that I'm working on, that I'm creating pieces, one on Aldo Leopold, one on Marty Murray, one on Terry Tempest Williams. Um, I teach a class now called Environmental Photography where my art students are walking around carrying books. Um, Edward Abbey under their arm, Rachel Carson under their arm, Aldo Leopold. Um, these are people that walk around and used to carry Ansel Adams. 
and uh, it's very, I guess it's a cross-pollination. And for a, me, who I'm you know, 62, and I love what I do, and I have, and I teach, this is very fulfilling that um, this work has a mission, can be in service, isn't just art for the art world. For me, that was not enough anymore.